Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. If you have any of the following three vehicles, guys, uh, Chrysler 200, Fiat 500, Dodge Ram Pro Master, guys, 2.4 multi air engine. All that engine guys, all those vehicles use the same 2.4 multi air engines in multiple models. And if you guys have a, a, a rattle, engine noise, when you start the vehicle guys on cold start or after you didn't drive the car for a while and you start and you hear a rattle or a noise coming, uh, kind of like where your oil fuel cap will be on the uh, side of the where the timing chain is guys, stay with us, we'll explain what could cause that. Now, as you can see guys, we have the engine out. Why? Because we guys have more than 100 videos on that engine alone. And we want to show you with great detail guys how to fix pretty much anything on it. We can show you that way where every bolt is, how to remove and replace every component. So, make sure guys you subscribe to the channel, like the video. We do all that guys so we can save you as much money as we can. Now, what can cause guys, okay, that engine noise rattle on cold start or after you didn't drive the car for a while. As you know guys, this is a timing chain driven engine. And the timing chain, it's pretty thick chain, so uh, usually it will not fail very often. But what could happen now, guys? Okay, if you hear that noise, guys, when you start the engine on cold start, or <laughs> sometimes it could be even all the time, but it's uh, not so, so often, is, guys, due to a wore out timing chain tensioner. This is your timing chain tensioner. This tensioner, guys, is hydraulic tensioner. What that means? Oil pressure, guys, stretches that tensioner out. But it stretches it to the point, okay, that it's going to jump one tooth and it will get stuck there. So when you turn your car off, it should stay at that position. Okay, check it out now. Like that. And if I try to push it back, I can't. Because that tooth is preventing it from going back. Now, if that tooth gets wore out, okay, or the teeth on the tensioner piston, guys, get wore out, what will happen okay actually you will be able guys okay you will be able to compress it all the way okay you will come back like that and first when you start the car you won't have enough oil pressure guys okay and you're going to hear okay a rattle okay because the chain will be loose and that will not be good okay that chain will be loose and you will hear guys a rattle now it's supposed to be like that right not to come back you can see it should be like that but sometimes they do get wore out another way that they fail guys okay is it has a, a thing that keeps the oil pressure guys uh, kind of like a seal if that gets wore out okay that will happen as well so we're going to remove that tensioner guys and show you how soft it is now let us show you now we, we just have two bolts that we need to remove uh, we have guys the whole video how to remove and replace tensioner make sure you follow the directions because otherwise you can uh, severely damage your engine if you don't set the timing or jump the timing but let's explain now okay this is the tensioner guys this is where it gets oil through that little hole right there and all that is filled with oil here guys engine oil so sometimes they will even get plugged up if you have uh, haven't changed your oil for a while so that tube now okay if you hold it okay you can see it will go in so you can compress it but otherwise it's supposed to hold it to the point that you cannot jump it guys you can see so that spring is pretty soft too the spring is stretched on that thing it looks like it's it got soft okay to the point that it's not hard to compress at all it shouldn't be that way guys uh, so definitely guys this car will need new tensioner now we didn't record the noise because i'm afraid guys to record the noise okay because we once we hear the noise I, we turn the car off immediately guys and we took the engine apart but when you're ready to install the new tensioner we'll go ahead order ours okay just install the two bolts guys make sure you set the timing all that correctly we'll have the video on the channel for the timing marks and all that stuff and practically guys you will be okay you will be guys ready to go so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure that out thank you for watching Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.